It is ridiculous to try and paint him as a victim or something like that. It he sold a cryptocurrency with no clear exit. What we're praying for and what we're believing for still is that God is going to do a miracle. There's not going to be a miracle in the financial sector. He and his wife are scammers and they have used Christianity and God's name in vain here in order to pocket an outrageous amount of wealth for themselves. So probably had no clue what cryptocurrency was and just trusted the pastor at his word that God was helping and steering this in the right direction. There's a lot of people struggling. This is a terrible, horrible thing to do. Made even worse by the fact that he won't just own up to it and instead continues to blame God for it. And then still tries to sow in that like little bit of hope that, hey, maybe there'll be a miracle because God's on our side and helping us out. It appears a scam. It is foul.